Ranking of Kings? In a nutshell. This anime opens up talking about kings. You know, people that are super strong, super intelligent, super kind, and above all else, daddy material. So then why is the protagonist this little shrimp? This is just a flashback though. I'm sure he grows up to be a super strong king. What is that? He's walking out in public completely naked, except for some undies. So far, he's on his way to be the weakest, softest, sorriest king of them all. But there's one way to make up for it. Intelligence. He's probably a smooth talker. The kind of guy that has a way with words. Cut the video, cut the video, cut the video. We're only one minute in, and I already hate this protagonist. He just has a hearing disability. Oh, for real? That's my bad, y'all. His name is Boji. He's probably the sweetest little guy ever. But a lot of people don't trust him as their future king. For good reason. He meets this shadow guy, Kage. Kage's like, give me all your clothes, you sorry little shrimp. And Boji's like, I have no friends, so sure. And starts stripping. After a few donations of his closet, Kage starts taking a liking to Boji. We see you blushing, bruh! Boji is pretty likable at this point. And then we see the entire town bully him for being naked. And his own mother bully him for being stupid. But instead of letting it get to him, he still takes on life with a smile. We're only 10 minutes in, and I already love this protagonist. We meet the current king, or Boji's father, who probably looks pretty similar to him. Hey, that's his daddy? King Bose is like, I love you so much, son, but why are you walking around my kingdom naked? King Bose also doesn't have much longer to live. He tells him, Son, please hit the weight room and fix those noodles you got for arms. Boji's sword instructor is the best in all the land. Pure excellence. He finna get fired soon though. Boji's form sucks! This is Boji's little brother, Daida. Unlike Boji, he's a cocky little turd. But unlike Boji, he can actually fight well. Boji sees his teacher getting super stimulated off his spar with Dida because well Good luck sparring with this. He's been deprived for a long time And so Boji is like I can fight too. We find out Boji has one ability going for him He has a built-in plus six double team before entering any match Basically he can dodge anything The only attack move he has though is Splash. Boji is doing his thing, but then his instructor butts in and is like, Stop fighting like Smash 4 Sonic. I'm not proud of you. Which causes him to get beat up. It's all good, man. He'll walk it off. All Boji wants is to be a strong king. He wants to overcome the shrimp body he was placed in. Kage's like, I'm done asking you to strip for me. Nobody else believes in you, but I do. I want to be in your corner from now on, no matter what happens. These emotional words cause Boji to wee wee his face bandages and cause them to get soaked. Look at that wetness, bruh. And then the Moko starts flowing out too. I love this kid. Episode three, King Bose passes away and in his will, he gives the title of King to Boji. But behind closed doors, Boji's mom is like, Nah, I ain't letting a shrimp be my king. And Dida gets the throne.
Boji starts whining to his mom how he wants to go on a journey. And she's like, nah, you're a deaf little shrimp. Once she realizes he's gonna do it one way or another, she lets him put on his sorry little cape and go on a tiny baby adventure. Boji sets out on a journey to get stronger. And he has to prove to this guy that he's worth training. When it comes to dodging, he's the best in the field. Yeah. Pull up in a rally, smoking dope and never tired of that shit. Got me howdy, probably smelling like Armani. Keep a blonde golf shorty, she look just like Misa Misa. Oh. And he's like, okay, I see you. Now show me that offense. Boji is like, I'm sorry, Kage. I promise I'll get stronger. And decides he's gonna start by lifting this rock. Sometimes it's better to start with baby steps. This smaller rock is a much better starting spot. Is there a fetus difficulty level? Later on, we get a little flashback to see how Boji was made. This is his daddy. He asks this cursed demon to make him the strongest man in the world. And he says, I can only do it if you let me suck every last drop out of one of your family members. Bose is like, I have no family. And the demon's like, just have a kid. And he's like, okay. Bose being the powerful shark he is. Find someone with the opposite genitalia, who is also a shark, and asks her to make babies with him. He makes her blush, and tells her some corny jokes, and boom, she's pregnant. Once their child is born, Bose gets a massive boost in strength. He is now the strongest shark in the entire ocean. I'm still hiding demons away from my aunt. And this is his son. Oh yeah, he got sucked all right. Oh, look at his mom kiss him. Better watch out, you might accidentally crush his skull. <laughs> they feed him a disgusting amount of food every day, but he could never reach the thickness of his father. Dida is pretty unlikable in the beginning, but honestly, I can't blame him for being so angry. Ever since he was a child, he would see his older brother be the biggest wuss ever. I wanna hurt you! And every time he was getting pushed to his limits during training, he would look up and see this freak drawing private parts in the sand. What do you mean it's a castle? No, 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 you're the perverted one. And when it comes to his brother's cooking, it's dog water. As for their physical frames, Dida received all of their father's muscle. But there's one thing Boji got from their dad, Dida does not have. And that is a monster dump truck. <laughs> Thankfully, by the end of the anime, Daida truly respects his big brother. And a big reason as to why is because of Boji's teacher, Despa. He basically made it to where Boji hits a super effective critical hit every time he attacks. And hey, I gotta hand it to this anime. It really made me get emotional over a shrimp and two black dots connected together on the ground. Thank you, Boji, for being a short king. And thank you for watching. They never watched me in them David Blamer. Now you hoes. Oh yeah, let's go down.